This is YBR with American Lowriders, which is extremely similar to Lowriders Extreme and Ride Em Lower. They're not identical, I, but they are very close to being the same game. Uh, it is from a Polish developer, Red Dot, and published by Playway, at least in, uh, for this version. I think the other ones were published by different people. So here we go, we're going to do a load career. Actually, you know, we're going to do a new career. We're going to do a new career that's going to be Y blah, la 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 la. Uh, so you're going to get a phone message in a second once it loads, and I'll read that as best as I can. Welcome to your garage. You'll probably spend plenty of time here tweaking your ride. You can buy and install mechanic parts, change the paint, rims, and tires, and even your ride's performance. But first, you have to buy a car. So close this message by clicking the button on the bottom and go to the car dealer. When you buy a new ride, new options will be activated. Test drive, notifications, city map, etc. Good luck. So we go to the car dealer. Wait for it to load. And here you always have a certain set of cars you can buy from. You got this one, which is a lot of money, pretty good performance. This one, which is low amount of money, still pretty good performance. Same with this one. Uh, skip this car for now. We'll go back to that one later. And then you got one that's like tuned up that you can't afford usually. Like, see, this one is too much. So for me, for now, I would either go with these two usually. Um... I think we'll do the eeny meeny miny Freddy. We'll do the one called Freddy. So it's supposed to be, you know, American stuff and low riders. So since this is a, I was just telling you about the, all the stuff here, I'll explain it anyways. So here we got some new buttons. Now we got test drive where you could just test your car out. City map where you could look around the city and go to racing people. We won't do that quite yet. And you have modifications. So this is the game itself is called American Lowriders. So first thing you should do. There. Alright. Five thousand dollars worth it. Second thing you should do. No. There. Alright. Okay. Sec third thing you should do. Whoops. You could buy rims, I guess, if you want to. Me, on the other hand, I'm going to put tires on it. So they have to be bigger, so we'll up the size. Oh, uh, I don't have the money. So 50 and then can't afford this. I shouldn't have messed with the tires. Alright, let's not mess with the tires. Everything else we could worry about some oh. Well, if we got a little bit of money we could buy some hydros. We don't have enough though, so we'll worry about those some other time. But that's what you do when you first start the game. You could also buy performance upgrades like real ones. If you have the money. I didn't bother personally, yet. Uh, for now, we'll go to the city map and we'll show off the two race spots that are unlocked when you first start the game. The first one is very, very basic. As basic as it gets, really. So what happens is, YB this will be challenged by this guy in place 74. You can look at his name if you click up here, but he'll drive away if you do that, so you don't want to do that. So you hit race, you say how much you want to bet for this, put 400, and he'll agree to it. Then you do a race. Easy enough. So here's the race. My car is actually a low rider, unlike his thing, which is sitting high. So th this car right now has an automatic transmission. So literally all I have to do is hold down the accelerator. And then we see who wins. If I didn't blow all my money on chrome paint and um, what else did I blow? Oh, lowering my car and changing my tire size, I could win this. But since I blew all my money on that, I literally cannot win. <laughs> yeah, I, I already screwed myself over that hard. But look how beautiful my car is. Does it really matter? Just look at it, it's so pretty. Alright, so obviously this isn't going to work. That's why there's other YBRs to use. So that's the basic idea of that's how th that part works. We'll do one more race where I'll lose at the other area that I have unlocked right now. 
Uh, don't expect no miracles, but you know, maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe they'll crash. Although I have yet to see them make a single mistake unless I am the cause for it. So, I doubt it. We'll go ahead and race them. Offer $400. Don't even know what this car looks like. See, the problem is, these guys are drag racing. I just have a cruiser. I have a, cl I have a low down cruiser, and they got these drag racing. Or not necessarily drag racing because this has churns, but they got these race cars. And uh, every course has like three variations or so, two or three uh, that you could use. So it'll give it to you like, oh, you're using this variation this time or whatever. So like this one is just this one's variation. You got a couple of camera angles as well. You know, if you're crazy, you could drive like this. I'm not that crazy. Hey, I'm trying to drive with a keyboard, so it's a little difficult. You see the steering wheel freaks out every time I tap left. So I really have to feather it to not crash or to not slide out. All right, so I'm you know, I'm really just nailing the inside of this corner, not sliding too much. But there's honestly no hope for me because it seems like once they get away, they they're gone. Even with faster cars, they're gone. So we'll just go ahead and finish the race just because but again, don't expect any miracles. Yeah, they're they're gone. Dude. Look at that. Look how fast they're leaving me. Like a hundred meters faster than me in about five seconds, maybe maybe ten. Just look at that. They are leaving me in the dust. Cause I got a cruiser. I'm barely able to keep up like freeway speeds on this kind of car. I'm going like 78, and that's after I've been on the straightaway for a while. So you know, obviously, I'm gonna lose. But that's okay. This car wasn't built for racing. I have some that are built for racing. One that's really built for racing and one that's just plain out stupid. Well, let's get to those bad boys. Alright, so what I did is I cheated some money in. Just so I could buy myself a nice car and unlock everything as fast as possible. Uh, this is the nice car I bought. It is called an Elvis. It has like 1200 horsepower. Not even joking, this thing has 1200 horsepower. It's just the way you could build it up to be. Spent lots of money on it, and it's a damn good car. You got some hydros on it, of course. Uh, we'll show those off too now that I finally have a car that has some. So first off, let's uh, let's just show off the hydros. No competition today. Okay, I lied. Let's show off a race. We'll just race at the Twisted Downtown area thing. So I'll show how you can. So you can, if you want, you can say, "I want to race this guy." And then that guy will come, and you'll race him. Oh, my bad. This thing has 1,300 horsepower. All right. So, like, the guys I'm racing, you see, they got, like, 150, 260. This thing really should just plain out destroy them, right? Right? Watch. I'm going to let them kind of get ahead of me. I mean, you can beat them. As long as you stay ahead of them, they won't catch you. But it seems like the second they get 100 meters away from you... They are just flying. So, like, I'll show you, like, at the start, I have no problem, like, not even just keeping up with them, but beating them. So I take off a lot faster, but I take the corners at a reasonable enough speed where I don't have to, oh, shit, usually worry about it. But, like, even if I'm crashing on the corner, they crash, too. Wow, I have actually, like I said, I've never seen them crash. That's a first. Uh, this car is absolutely terrible for turns, though. Just look at that body waddle. Wobbling. It's more of a drifting game with this thing. And this car is not, like, modded in any way. It's totally, legitimately built up. It's just the way you could build a car in this game. So you got wheel spin up to, like, 200 miles per hour almost or something. Like, up to 100, I fully got wheel spin. One thing that is frustrating, you got all those kinds of things for power and looks. If you want to actually like get some suspension upgrades or anything, too bad. You don't got any. All right, so you see, I am, you know, I'm decently losing them. I'm not beating them by a lot, but I'm losing them consistently. So now, let's stop. Let's stop. Let's slow down. Okay. Okay, you stop, and they somehow stop too. And then they go. Like, that always happens. Whenever you come to a stop, 
they come to a stop too it seems like I have no idea why it's just now they're going backwards see the AI is wonky they're literally getting farther away from me but you see something's up with the AI obviously they're not moving that's what happens when you stop if you're in front I don't know why it just does that so let's just use all 1300 horsepower to I was having wheel spin up to 160. The only reason the wheel spin stopped is because I hit the brake. Alright, so again, they are still like barely moving, it seems like. Like, they're just barely moving, right? Like, what's up with them? AI is entirely broken for some reason, it seems like right now. See, they are like stuck. I don't know. But it seems like they only get stuck if you are. Like,. Like, what the fuck are they doing, see? Like, here I am, fucking around, and then them... I don't know what they're doing. But the AI is not competent, as you can plainly see. But let me finish this race, just watch this up. They've been stuck there for a good long time. So I'm gonna go finish this race, because I don't think they're getting themselves unstuck. And you saw that little icon that came up when I hit them? That means if you crash two more times, the race is just canceled. So if you're losing a race, you can just ram them three times, and then you don't lose it, actually. Uh, here's a fun way to take this turn. You saw the wheels. Yes, they did just clip through the car. But I managed to take that about 90 miles per hour, which is a pretty decent speed. But now the car is moving. The car is moving. The second I stop, stop like going in reverse and stuff, they're perfectly fine. It is so weird. I'm pretty sure it just resets them when you're not looking type of thing. And they assume you're stopped for something like that. I don't know. But I was pretty much destroying them. Now, they're in front of me. There's not much to this race left. So I don't think I'll actually get the shot off. But they are almost impossible to catch once they get the lead. I don't think I let them have a big enough of a lead, actually. So that's good for me, I guess. Bad for the video. Alright, they crashed. See, I don't think they'd normally crash either. I think the only reason they crashed is because I'm here. Like, the AI, it just feels so weird. Okay. So we'll return to location. We'll do one more race, just same guy. You saw how bad he was. If he gets about 300 meters ahead of me, he's like, at least when I did it the first time, he was literally uncatchable. No idea why. So, he should be driving up because I chose his name from the thing. 265 brake horsepower. So this is a short variant, so it's going to be a shorter race. So I'm going to just sit at the start line for maybe about 5-10 seconds or so. I don't know for sure yet. But until they're about 300 meters ahead of me. And then I'll take off. And we'll see if we can catch them. Maybe it was just a one-time thing. Or maybe it happens all the time. We'll find out right here. See, because I'm stopped, they're stopping, though. So I got, I'm just trying to move around so they don't stop for some reason. All right, so 200 meters ahead. Now let's really just race. So as you know, this car handles terribly. So obviously I'm not going to take the corners that fast, but I'm taking them pretty fast, you see. Especially for trying to control it with a keyboard. And the only reason I caught them is because they crashed, I guess. I don't know. Now they just seem to be crashing all the time. They weren't doing this previously, I swear. I can show you how to cancel out a race. Like, what the hell is wrong with them now? I don't know, man. Something's up. I don't think it was anything I caused, but... The AI is even worse now. They're, they crash all the time now. Oh well. Anyways, let's show up the fun car. This is my casino. It's a three speed. It has about... Um, what is it? Uh, let's see. Uh, how much power you got? Uh, 11,016 brake horsepower. So it's up there. 
It's also got some hydros. Not the best ones. We'll go and plop the best ones on it just because. And that car, this car is really good. Can't handle for shit, but it's really fast. Uh, we can make the tires look great on this, actually. I should show this off. So if I do that, then I can go... This game is weird. Like, look. Five centimeters, okay. If you come from six to five, five is not okay. You can make the car look great like that. Uh, anyways, let's finally get to a dance competition. We'll show off the ridiculousness of this car first. There's three different modes. This one's the most uh, most one I'm used to. So you just, with the music, you hit the thing. Fun part about this, say you fuck around and you flip your car over. You still get points even if you're like upside down and you hit exactly what they say. You still get points. So flip it over, and I'm still getting points. Still getting points just because the tires are moving up and down. I didn't get a lot of points though. I really did bad because I was trying to flip over so hard. It's just a little thing. Uh, that doesn't matter though because that's the idea for the dance. That's what you do. Now freestyle is basically you will flip for me. Uh, this one, you're supposed to just do whatever the hell you want. I always end up flipping. Z Zex. That's the Zex. See, I always end up flipping. This time I ended up getting right. Nope. See? Like, it's so weird. When you're on the dance one, it seems like you, every time you flip, you'll be right it up. This one. You flipped? Fuck you. So I don't know. But that one is just like you do whatever you want and they'll give you points. It's weird. There's one more to show off and then we're good. I don't know if we'll get it. It's somewhat random. See, no competition. So for now, let's go to a race. Now, remember, this this car is cheated. I put the power up about, what is it, 100 times more than what it comes with stock. I think it was I just ended up doing. So, uh, yeah, 11,000 brake horsepower. Uh, wheel spin. Uh, it has so much wheel spin you can't even control it really. But I'm gonna still drive it once just because it's so funny. Like I'll be going 200 something miles per hour. Oh, I got some wheel spin still. It has a turbo on it. Because turbo. I love how it zooms in on those wheels. Like I make the smallest, stupidest wheels and it's like, oh, let's zoom in on that shit. Alright, so this thing can go up to 300 something. The limiting factor is the transmission and wheel spin. Like right now, it's just spinning the wheels everywhere. It's also only a three speed. Oh, shoot, I have the wrong transmission on it. Alright, it's gonna max out at 218 then. But that got up to 218 pretty fast, didn't it? Alright, here's a fun thing to do. Yeah, so this thing's topping out at 218 now. Because I have the wrong transmission on it. Uh, of course it's gold plated, because why wouldn't I do that? But this is just another one of the tracks. Really smooth turns to it. So it's not a full out drag race, but it, this is where you get the high speeds if you want them. Uh, at 200 miles per hour, this thing's still controllable pretty realistic right you know big ass 80s uh, heavyweight yeah sure it is especially with wheels like that all right I gotta change that transmission and check if the right competition is up yet and then we're about done so let's go to modifications gearbox oh that's why all of them are weird I don't know what I did oh Nope, I screwed it up. It used to top out at like 300. I don't know what I did. Yeah, I have, this is a glitch differential even. Oh well, it's all good. So we just I just want to show off the last uh, competition here and we'll be good. Freestyle again. All right, let's go flip the car again. 
because that's all I probably end up doing. But we just gotta wait until there's the next, the right challenge type. Already flipped. And you wanted to roll over? Too bad. That's zero points. At least it resets fast so I can get into a, the one I want, hopefully. Dance. Dance will take a long time. I don't want to do a dance. I don't know if I ride to the spot, because that's the exact quote they use, and then hit main menu. I don't know if it'll change the day or not. Let's find out. And it does. Alright, cool. This is the last type of competition they have for these. Uh, this one is hot. I'm not, I'm sorry. I showed off the freestyle so bad. It's just because I always literally flip the car. So this one's simple. All you want to do is hop the car. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous looking. And the tires are actually too small on this to really do this easily. But they, you just want to go as high as you can. There's no real competition to it. It's just you can go as high as you can. And then they give you some money. There's no like, hey, you got first place, good job, or cheering or anything. It's just you got this much money for doing this hop. I suck at this timing, though. There we go. You want to hit like just before you land it seems like or just as you land maybe oh that was the highest one too oh well and you get you know some money and some respect that's the same car that goes you know 218 miles per hour in a couple of seconds flat here's the performance charts boom just off the charts literally off the charts yeah, that's, that's totally cheated in, though. The other one is about as fast as you can go legitimately. Throwing money at everything you can. Alright, if there's another hop one or freestyle, I'll try it in this car. Maybe this one's less flip-worthy, or maybe it'll get higher in the hop. Dance? I don't want to fucking dance. God damn it. Dancing is just stupid. It's just like a rhythm game. But the controls are terrible. Because you use QAZ, WSX, and EDC. And each one is like considered an arrow pad, like a dance pad. And it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Alright, let's try a freestyle without flipping. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna flip in like two seconds, like always. Oh my god! I was one movement! I'm getting points though this time. Now nah, I'm stuck. There's no give up button by the way. It's just if you're on your side, you just gotta wait for everything to end. So we're just gonna quit. And one thing I didn't actually ever do is the actual, just literal hops. So, if this is a freestyle, we could do it. Nope. So we'll do the practice, basically. It's called hydraulic test. I call it hydraulic practice. We'll do this real quick, and then we'll be about done. So you go. Holy shit, this is great. Alright, my wheel clipped through the floor, and I rolled onto my side. What's new? I mean, I'd be more surprised if I didn't flip. I don't think that changes the day, so I think there's still no competition or anything. Yeah. So that's the game, you know? That's all there is to it, unless there's more eventually later. Because I'm only, uh... Let's back it up real quick. I'm, like, only ranked in the middle of things still, so there might be more. But who knows? Until next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.